So here's the house tour. Um, we were so excited to get this house because it was almost everything we were looking for. I really, really wanted a one-story house and we just weren't finding any and I had given up till we found this one. So it was so exciting. And it just, it was a lot more of all the things we wanted than anything else we looked at. So I'm still kind of pitching myself that we got it. And as you can hear, there are still airplane flying over but that also means that Josh has a super short commute to work and Emily loves the airplanes so it works. So here's the entryway. Um, this wall is kind of like all the random things I didn't have a place for but were sentimental and it's kind of a big blank hallway so there they are. I'm not sure if it's cool or crazy but I like it. Um, and the girls rooms are right here. Um, and they're sleeping or resting. So I'll do theirs when they wake up. And then here's their bathroom, which is also like the guest's bathroom. There's just two bathrooms, which I prefer because it's one less to clean. Um, the one really funny thing about this house is that there's very little bathroom storage and no linen closet. So in, in this bathroom, there's no medicine cabinet, so they put this thing as was already like screwed into the wall. So I bought these boxes, but it still looks really messy and crazy. So I don't know, like I I don't know where to put all the bathroom stuff, like all the girls' medicines and lotions and extra toilet paper and washcloths. So if you have any brilliant ideas for how to make this look nicer, go ahead and tell me. Um, and then these things, it's hilarious to me because I complained about the glass doors in our shower at our last house all the time, but the people who lived there before us were 80, so I had some sympathy for maybe why they'd, you know, want to not step over a tub, but I do not understand why you would do this. So you can tell me that too if you know why someone would do this, because these are the biggest pain to clean, like dirt and mold gets in all the corners, and it's hard to give the kids a bath if they're both in there. Anyway, whatever. I just, I think they're weird, but that's okay. It's a very small thing. Um, anyway, and then this is the other funny thing about this bathroom is that the rest of the house is all just beige, but this bathroom is like this super textured, sandy, I don't know, it's kind of funny. I mean, I don't, I don't hate it. Um, all right, and so... Um, the other thing I really wanted, I really wanted one story, and I really wanted an open floor plan, maybe even more than one story. Just with kids, um, it's so much easier when you can see them and you're cooking dinner and they're playing in the living room. And um, so this is super open. Um, sorry, this is really blurry. Um, so kitchen, living room, dog that wants to go outside, I'll be good. Um, and I also really struggle with how to set up this living room. So this is probably maybe one of the biggest living rooms we've ever had, except maybe our first apartment. Um, and the TV cable's over there. Anyway, this is what we came up with. And I think it works. It gives the girls a lot of space here to play. They'll bring out toys and play here. Um, and it's a good workout spot. Um, and then the kitchen is good perfect size I had enough room in the cabinets this is kind of a really big eating area so we had enough room for this now this is not gonna win any like you know home design decorating awards but I love it and it's working so well I copied this exact setup from Pinterest for like craft and homeschool stuff and it's great I mean even though the girls can't read the labels they they know where things go and they put things back and Josh puts things back where I want them and you know we keep like paint and markers up there away from Emily and then crayons and all their books and Play-Doh stuff down here. It's also like my command center with my planner and my receipts and all my stuff to pay bills so I'm not taking up kitchen counter space. Anyway, I love this thing. These things are from Ikea and they are awesome. Um, we had to buy a fridge, 
which is something else almost every house we looked here at here may not almost more than half though um didn't have a fridge so we just like decided that okay we'll have to buy a fridge but I'm kind of excited because maybe that means in the next house we'll have a fridge in the garage which would be a really nice thing to have um so the kitchen's good um I'm happy that it's not a gas stove I know everyone else likes them I had a gas stove and oven on base and the oven and I were not friends so I'm happy and I'm mostly happy about ta-da controls on top we had childproof knob covers our last house and Emily could still pull them off so I'm really happy about that but the best thing about the kitchen is the pantry the pantry was on my hang on beaker um anyway um one thing that was like on my wish list didn't have to have it but would be nice would be a pantry and this is an awesome pantry it's really big and um I can put my appliances in there so these things are really heavy and so for me to put them like in a bottom cabinet and then have to lift them up is really hard on my back but I can just put them in here counter height never have to lift or bend or anything and take them to the counter I'm really excited about that um, and haha, it's Emily proof um, so and this way is coat closet that's something we didn't have before either and a laundry room that was right up there with the pantry I'd really like to be able to close the door on the washer and dryer so they're not so loud um, and so this is good there's a little shelf space I like it door to the garage um, I'm really happy about that and then we also decided to upgrade to a four bedroom house um, basically the fourth bedroom is for all of my stuff um, we're calling it the office but it's got music sewing more music um, it does have some desk and office stuff but even the closet is full of my craft supplies um, all of this stuff was in our master bedroom before so just picture that all crammed in there it's really nice to have it in here um, and also it means that I can play the keyboard or so while everyone else in the house is sleeping which is really nice hey buddy and then our bedroom is this way and it's kind of fun that it also has a view to the backyard so if the kids are playing outside and I'm folding laundry, I can still see them. That's kind of fun. Um, and then our bathroom. So a ton of the houses we looked at had this garden tub. Apparently I just have different bathroom opinions than everyone else. I don't get this either. Because like I said, the house has no linen closet. So if you didn't have a tub and a shower, you could have a linen closet. But apparently people really like these garden tubs and glass showers, even though with all the water and the lime, whatever. So anyway, Josh is excited about the tub because obviously he's tall and so he can actually fit in it. So that's nice for him. And then our closet's like just to the right size. All my stuff just kind of barely, my clothes are pretty jammed in there, but they fit, they fit. Um, I don't know if Josh's clothes are going to fit because he still has three boxes over there. Um, but he's been doing a lot of things just that I've asked him to do. Obviously, we've hung everything up and all that, so I can't fault him for not unpacking his clothes because he's been doing everything else. Um, so that's it besides the girls' rooms, and I'll get... Oh, no, the backyard. Um, if this was a long-term house... I don't think that we would have settled for this small of a backyard. Um, but again, most of the houses we looked at had really, really small backyards. This was actually bigger than some of the other ones. Um, but what makes up for it is that just a block away is the neighborhood playground and pool. The playground's not huge either, but the girls still are really happy, especially when there's other kids there. 
and I'm sure we will spend a lot of time at the pool. We're so excited. That's not something that was on our radar at all to find a neighborhood with a pool. Um, because we're renting, we don't have to pay the HOA fees. And I don't know, maybe they included that in the rent, but it was really reasonable. So, yay, we get a pool. That's really exciting. So here's Kylie's room. Um, when we saw the house empty, we thought the rooms were, looked kind of small, but once we got everything in it, the house, the houses always look so much bigger, I think, with stuff in them. So once we got everything in them, everything fit fine, her kitchen and her dresser and her big queen bed and everything, we lost one of her curtains. Um, we only needed one at our last house, so I can't remember if I used the fabric from the other one, if I just lost it. Anyway, I'm waiting to see if she still needs light blocking curtains before I made make new ones because that was my least favorite sewing project ever was light blocking curtains. It was terrible. Um, and we got her new bookshelf so we can put games up high. I keep well, You can see how much of our house is like geared to being two-year-old proof. Someday she's going to stop eating things, right? Um put her pictures up it's so fun this is such a fun age to make a room just of all things that she loves um every time we go to hobby lobby she always talks about the flowers and she loves the flowers so i promised her when she got a new room that she could go pick out some flowers so she picked out this random bouquet from hobby lobby after we got here um another thing i like that we did is we got this hanging bar just from Walmart. Um, find, so it, it hangs, this part hangs up from the top of here. So for the dress up clothes, so they're low down so that they can reach them. I really like that. Um, we really, the, the nicest thing probably about moving is that you get to reorganize your house and rethink everything. So we put a lot of thought into house to store toys and it's really stayed a lot cleaner because the girls can find things easier and they are putting things away better and it's been, that's been really good. So here's Emily's room and her room's in transition because we assume she'll be climbing out of the crib any day now. So eventually I think it's going to be pink and yellow, yellow, so I don't have to make curtains since I've already said how much I hated that, and pink because she loves pink. So now she's got a little bit of pink and a little bit of primary color still. Um, but she still loves these things on the wall that I made for Kylie, the, the George pictures, and then these Dr. Seuss books. Give me just a second. Yes, that's fine. Um... So, anyway, when, when she, we first moved in and we didn't have them on the wall, she kept asking, ABCs, George, Monkey, Elephant, she loves these. So I'm glad she likes them, because I made them for Kyla, I'm glad she likes them too. And then in her closet, we bought more of those things from Ikea, um, and this is great. And I printed out little pictures, and my printer hated me, so it didn't print them out centered, whatever. But, um... They've been really good at putting stuff away and being able to find stuff. And her room is in transition. So it's like 80 degrees here. But I don't know if that's normal. So I don't know if I need to keep long sleeve stuff out. Anyway, so there's way too much clothes in Emily's closet right now. So I can't hang them all up. So they're just everywhere. Um, and so I think that's it. And that's our house.